Hi, I'm your host Bharat Bhushan. In this video, we are talk, going to talk about PT indexing test strategies to score high 79 plus for right from dictation task type. Right from dictation task type is very important in this particular PT exam because if you do good in this particular question type, definitely you will get good marks in your PT exam. So be careful and be ready for all the strategies we are go going to discuss in this video be with me till this uh, till the end of this video to know about each and every strategies tips and tricks for this question type right from dictation please like and subscribe my channel Bharat Bhushan for more PD videos click on bell icon for more updates right guys so I have created all the videos for all question types for PT exam there are 20 question types in PT exam I created uh, videos for 20 question types for PT exam for all the strategies so please go to this channel and get access to all the videos for the PT exam to score really high what is right from dictation question type? So right from dictation task type test listening and writing skills. Right guys, so you will get marks for two things, listening and writing by doing good in this particular question type. So you can be scoring in two sides of your PD exam. One is listening, another one is your writing. You'll have to write a sentence that you will hear once only in the recording that last three to five seconds so there is a recording of three to five seconds about five to ten words sentence that you need to r repeat by writing in your text box you will get three to four question type right from dictation in your exam and it depends in some particular exam get three and another maybe four so right from dictation question type you should aware about this about the format of this question type in your real exam on the top of the computer screen you will have the instruction for this particular question type which you need to be which you need, uh, which you need to read carefully of all those instructions then there will be an audio status box and volume controller so that you can increase and decrease your volume to, as per your convenience you will have a text box to write your answer on your screen you have to write from uh, what you hear in the audio in that particular text box finally you will have the cut copy paste buttons for your convenience in this question type this is the screen you will get in your real exam first as I told you instructions audio status box and volume control type your answer here in this text box then you have tool cut copy paste now what is the first strategy to write from dictation question type so first strategy is your be focused while you hear you have to give a lot of stress on, on your hearing the audio status box will start from seven seconds so in that meanwhile you just prepare yourself pay attention so that you do not miss any word of that particular hearing of recording because if you miss any word you will lose your mark you can use your keyboard to write in the text box while you hear if you are good in typing with the hearing so th you can use do that otherwise you can just make notes later you can correct it after audio will stop or you can write on erasable board if you are not comfortable with keyboard so it's up to you and that way you have to choose before taking the exam and you have to practice at your home now next strategy is try to understand the dictation try to understand it that what about is what is the topic and what it does it relate once the audio begins focus on the meaning of the sentence this will help you to remember it and try to visualize it write or type the content words noun verbs adjective and word verbs 
leave the minor words preposition articles for now while you hearing write or type as quickly as you can don't worry about spelling at this point of time while you hearing start writing as soon as the dictation begins and don't stop to check your writing yet in while you are typing while you are listening don't stop yourself to check the spelling etc you just write it so that you can correct it later once all you will stop the finally you have to recheck what you have written so that you can correct it once your audio will stop so instantly after the recording stops write or type as much of the sentence as you can go over the sentence and use your knowledge of grammar word form and word order to add any word you missed out for example preposition article try to complete the complete sentence that's for and that make your uh, complete marks check the spellings of every word spelling you know lose your if you wrong you put the wrong spelling you lose your mark so check your spelling every time check for verbs ending and plurals marks are awarded for every correct word spelled correctly then click the next if you are confident with your answer all right now how you should prepare to write from dictation at your home before going to the real exam so you know should the, you should know the each and every technique you should apply in that exam and you have to practice a lot that that particular technique at your home so you should practice and tell, tell you what should you should prepare so decide in advance whether you are going to write the sentence by hand or write directly on the screen so you have to decide this in advance before taking the real exam once you have decided which method you prefer either writing on your board or typing on the screen you have to choose that exercise dictation using it and don't change your mind on the test day whatever you practice at your home you have to same apply in the exam don't change in the exam about your practice about your preference exercise guessing how to spell words you don't know write down words you hear in the media in advertisement the news interviews etc try to confirm the spelling of the word you heard using a dictionary so you have to be very good in spellings practice for write writing correct spelling of difficult words you experienced what you experience in in, in writing difficulties in your particular word you have to remember that word with the right spelling make a list of words with similar pronunciations but different spelling for example now no no like this and different meaning and check the meaning of each one for example no means nahi new means new you know that right like this create a word bank for new words with as many as forms of the word listed as you can find try to find as many as words such as the noun verb adjective and adverb form of the words in the test you may miss part of a word so you mean have to work out which form is needed and spell it correctly exercise writing sentences with correct words endings such as ed endings on past tenses and s endings on plurals and present tenses listen to podcast by speakers with different english accents to become familiar with them because in your exam real exam in real real exam you will hear different audios with different accents remember that this is the final task type in the test be aware of the time remaining in part 
so that you have enough time to attempt every question. It is better to try every task than to spend too much time on a task you have finished. So you have to be very careful about your timings. Try to devote good time for each and every task in your listening section. Do not spend lot of time on a particular question type. If you don't get the answer in a short time, you can skip to the next question. Okay, so that way, that's, that, that way you can attempt each and every question. Do not spend a lot of time on particular question or option. Final tips and tricks to write from dictation which you need to practice at your home before going to real exam. When you listen, write all the words that you hear from your, on your erasable noteboard booklet. After the recording, write the sentence in the response box. While writing the words you hear and do not paraphrase, you will gain marks for each correct word spelled correctly. Right, right, right guys, do not paraphrase or do not use synonyms. What you hear, you have to just write exactly. Try to spell word correctly and check the grammar before you click on next. Don't miss endings such as ed on past verbs, forms, ly on adverbs or s on plurals. That is very important because if you miss that, you will again lose your mark. So be very careful with all these things which I'm telling here and you have to practice this at your home before going to the real exam you should practice this at least 20 30 times or as many as possible before taking the real exam all right guys so that's all in this video right from dictation i told you explain you each and every strategies to get really high marks in this your pd exam so you need to practice a lot of all these strategies tips and tricks at your home before taking the real exam please share your feedback in comment box please like dislike if you uh, have any issue with this particular audio please give the suggestions in your comment box please subscribe my channel share this video with your friends and that and uh, popular this uh, video if you like it because that make me motivated to create a lot of videos for PD exam for your help thank you